In our continued multimeter training, we're going to go back and revisit the voltage drop part of using a voltmeter. On this board, we have a circuit to kind of represent some testing we did in the past for a fleet, where they had a lot of voltage drop on the circuits. The circuit started at a junction stud out on the firewall. It went through a connector, went, you know, going through the firewall, it had a fuse, it had a relay that controlled it, and it had the device. Now this one, we're just using a light, but we're still got a fuse, we have a relay, and we have a toggle switch that turns that relay off and on. But all in all, it's a fairly simple circuit, but there is lots and lots of connections in this circuit. I wanna go through and first make sure I have good voltage. Before you do any type of a check, you have to make sure you have a good supply. It doesn't do any good trying to troubleshoot a system if you don't have good battery pack to start with. And I'm around 12.6, so I know this battery is good state of charge. The next thing I wanna look at is I have my device, just a, a light here, is if I turn it on, it doesn't appear to be very bright. I'm gonna take my voltmeter, I'm gonna connect it to ground and positive and see what my voltage is here at the light. I'm only about 9.4. So I've got a big drop in this circuit here somewhere. Now my goal is to find out where it is. The only way you're ever gonna do a proper voltage drop is you have to have a multimeter, a digital voltmeter. Anytime you have anything that creates a voltage drop, you're gonna impede that device's ability to perform properly. It doesn't matter if it's because of undersized wire, it's corrosion, damage, whatever. A loss of voltage is a loss of voltage. Thank <laughs> you.